हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुजाता कसबे फ्रॉम आबा साहेब गरवारी कॉलेज पुणे इन दिस व्हिडिओ वील सी द व्हर्च्युअल लॅब डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन फॉर केमिस्ट्री प्रॅक्टिकल फॉर ट्वेल्थ स्टँडर्ड स्टुडंट्स एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू डिटरमाइन द कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ मोलॅरिटी ऑफ केमिनोफॉर सोल्युशन बाय ट्रायटेटिंग इट अगेन्स्ट स्टँडर्ड सोल्युशन ऑफ ऑक्सेलिक ॲसिड थिअरी द सबस्टन्सेस अवेलेबल इन द स्टेट ऑफ हाय प्युरिटी आर यूज टू प्रिपेअर स्टँडर्ड सोल्युशन्स by dissolving a fixed or definite mass in definite volume of distilled water oxalic acid is a primary standard substance its molar mass is 126 g per mole part a is preparation of standard solution of oxalic acid molar mass of oxalic acid is 126 g per mole for 1000 ml one molar oxalic acid solution required mass is 126 g of oxalic acid hence for 100 ml 0.05 molar oxalic acid the required mass is 126 into 100 into 0.05 divided by 1000 into 1 answer is 0.63 g of oxalic acid apparatus burette stand burette 100 ml standard flask conical flask funnel beaker etc chemicals oxalic acid keminophore solution distilled water and two molar h2so4 solution part a preparation of 0.05 molar oxalic acid solution procedure for part a weigh accurately 0.63 g of oxalic acid then transfer this substance in a clean and dry beaker and wash the watch glass with little amount of distilled water dissolve this substance in little amount of distilled water stir this solution well dissolve the substance now transfer this solution in a standard flask and make up the volume up to 100 ml thereafter transfer the diluted solution in a beaker so as to get homogeneous solution So this is 0.05 molar oxalic acid solution. Part B determination of molarity of Kamenopor solution using standard solution of oxalic acid. Now fill the burette number 1 with 0.05 molar oxalic acid solution and burette number 2 with Kamenopor solution. Take 10 ml of this 0.05 molar oxalic acid solution in clean and dry conical flask. Then add to this solution one test tube two molar H2SO4. Heat this solution up to 60 to 70 degree centigrade. Now keep the tile and then titrate this solution with this burette number two with constant stirring till faint pink color appear to the solution and record this reading as pilot reading in the observation table. Similarly. refill the burette number 1 with 0.05 molar oxalic acid solution and burette number 2 with kamenopor solution then take 10 ml 0.05 molar oxalic acid solution and add to it one test tube two molar h2so4 thereafter heat this solution and repeat the titration with kamenopor solution with constant stirring now continue the titration with burette number 2 till faint pink color appear to the solution record this reading as xml in a similar way repeat the titration for two times and find out the constant burette reading observation solution in burette number 1 oxalic acid in burette number 2 kamenophor indicator kamenophor itself end point colorless to faint pink reaction is given here observation table calculations 2 into 158 corresponds to 1000 ml therefore 1000 ml 5 molar oxalic acid equal to 316 g of kamenophor hence 10 ml 0.05 molar oxalic acid corresponds to 316 into 10 into 0.05 divided by 1000 into 5 answer is 0.0316 g hence 8.4 ml which is the cbr kamenophor solution contains 0.0316 therefore 1000 ml of kamenophor solution contains 0.0316 into 1000 divided by 
hence molarity of aminopore in the solution is equal to 0.0316 into 1000 divided by 8.4 into 158 answer is 0.02380 molar calculation is given in the table result table molarity of k solution equal to 0.02380 molar